Lainey Birch used to live her life to the full. Now she's in so much pain she can barely walk, relying on a cocktail of medication. My daily dose of tablets for pain relief for my hands, the autoimmune disorder has caused arthritis. Four years ago, she had a procedure to help cure her mild incontinence. She had a plastic mesh implant fitted like this one, designed to support her pelvic floor muscles like a sling. But the mesh eroded and sliced into her bladder, causing chronic pain. At the worst point, the first, uh, when my, it was when my all inflammation started. That was when I was really, really down. Plus the pain, not being able to walk, not always being able to get to the toilet on time. It's just, it was horrendous. And I didn't want to be here. And I do now, and it, it upsets me because that's how I went. I don't want to leave my kids. In the six years that I've been investigating MESH, one of the biggest issues has been a lack of evidence showing the risks of the procedure. Complications weren't recorded or women have simply been ignored. That's why a scathing review led by Baroness Cumberledge last year called for an audit to take place to go back and question women who've had the procedure. But that still hasn't happened. Campaigners say such an audit is vital to show the true scale of the problem. You're actually looking at real women and real outcomes. So if you took a, a sample of women from 2010, which is what Baroness Cumberlich has called for in her report, if you went back to every single woman that's had a mesh and asked her how she's doing now, 11 years later, that is real world evidence. And we need that um, because all of these women are missing so far um, from the data. So, so many women are going under the radar. There's a massive black hole of women suffering. An audit was one of several recommendations put forward by an independent committee led by Baroness Cumberledge. It said mesh and the drugs Primados and sodium valparate caused avoidable harm to women. A year on and the issues are still being raised in Parliament. I do not believe that you can reintroduce mesh without fully informed consent and you can only have fully informed consent if patients are fully aware of all of the risks and you can only be fully aware of all of the risks if all of the data is collected and recorded accurately. The government says it's working to implement five of the report's nine recommendations and is considering the others. Too late for Lainey, who says her life has been destroyed by a quick-fix procedure she wishes she never had. Charlotte Lomas, Sky News.